Good morning, friends. I hope you're having an awesome day. Our scripture reading for um, Daily Bread today comes from our Taking Faith Home sheets that were in your newsletter. And today's Bible verses are 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 through 13. So they say this. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All God's people here send their greetings. Um, there's a, so that is from the NRSV version of the scriptures that we normally would read in worship. Um, but I also happened to pull out Eugene Peterson's The Message. So that's like a paraphrase, not a real translation. That kind of puts the Bible in a more modern language. And I thought I'd share that one with you this morning too. It says this for 2 Corinthians 13. And that's about it, friends. Be cheerful. Keep things in good repair. Keep your spirits up. Think in harmony. Be agreeable. Do all that and the God of love and peace will be with you for sure. Greet one another with a holy embrace. All the brothers and sisters here say hello. So I'm wondering this morning um, what it looks like in our society today to be at peace with one another or uh, strive for full restoration, which is maybe where some of our unrest is coming from is um, folks who are striving for full restoration and justice of our society. So how do we be at peace and strive for full restoration when those feel like sometimes they're opposing viewpoints, right? Or how do we be at peace with one another, um, with the people that we struggle with the most? I think so often when we're um, in a high state of stress, which is what lots of us are because of this pandemic, um, our stress can come out sideways. So it can come out um, at the people that we trust the most. It can come out at the people we love the most. It can come out at our best friends, um, whatever it is. Um, often our stress comes out at those that we feel safest around. So how do we find ways to kind of deal with our stress in a healthier way um, and not take it out on the people around us? That's how we be at peace, right? We need to find peace not just um, in other relationships, but also peace within our own hearts and souls and minds. I was having a really good conversation with someone uh, yesterday talking about um, that they finally had to stop and spend some time with God and kind of let God's peace wash over them. And I, I wonder how often we do that, how often we um, get out of God's way and let God work and let God be the one that brings peace. Um, so I encourage you today to think about the people that you struggle to find peace with, um, whether that's within your own family system or whether that's, um, a friend or whether that's a coworker, whether that's someone you've always struggled to, to with, I don't know, um, who that person is for you, but who's the person who, um, you struggle to find peace with the most in a couple of options, um, maybe to work on building that peace. One, just sit and have a conversation um, without an agenda, without a whatever, but um, call that person up or grab a cup of coffee and find somewhere that you can socially distance. Um, but just listen to what they're saying. Um, and secondly, if you're not at that point yet, if you're um, so not at peace with someone that you can't even barely talk to them, um, maybe pray for that person today and in the coming days. Pray for them every day for a week and see what a difference that makes in um, the peace that you feel with them. So there's your challenges from your pastor today in this daily bread. Have a wonderful day, friends. Stay dry. Enjoy the rain if that's possible. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care.